Well, 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 we've got two signings in a day, actually three. Uh, the Bulls also signed a I, what I assume is going to be a two-way player in Matt Thomas, the guard, which made sense because when I saw that the Bulls signed another guard and not a power forward, I was incredibly confused. But the Bulls just announced that they have signed Eliza Johnson to a two-year $3.6 million deal. I gotta say, I would have preferred this to be another option. I mean, uh, you know, we talked about Jared Vanderbilt, there was James Ennis, uh, even Demarcus Cousins. Um, you know, I mean, Eliza Johnson, he's only played 50, 49 games in his entire NBA career. He has improved to an extent uh, in the last couple of seasons, really this past season. Uh, last year, he averaged 5.2 points per game, five rebounds. He's actually a power forward. It's something that the Bulls absolutely need. He's a 6'7 power forward, though, so a bit on the smaller side, but still works. Last season, he played for the Brooklyn Nets. This isn't a horrible signing. I would have preferred better options. I mean, it's funny because I uploaded a video earlier this morning on how the Bulls were going to fill out their remaining roster spots. And literally, hours after that happened, you had the Bulls sign Stanley Johnson. Then they signed Matt Thomas. And now they signed Eliza Johnson. They've literally filled out their roster in just a matter of hours after I uploaded that video. My preference was that the Bulls were going to use that first round pick that they acquired in the Lowry Markkinen trade to actually find a solid backup power forward. Obviously, ended up not being the case. And it makes sense because I'm sure that the Bulls are going to want to hold on to that first round pick in the event that they are found guilty in the investigation for Lonzo Ball. It also doesn't help to just have two first round picks uh, going into next year's draft. Um, so here we have it, Eliza Johnson. I'll share more in-depth details on my thoughts on this. I still need to kind of uh, marinate on this a little bit more as far as the signings for both Eliza Johnson and Stanley Johnson as well as Matt Thomas, the two-way player. Um, there's still some details that need to be worked out around what these agreements entail, uh, whether or not they're fully guaranteed. We still don't know the details around the Stanley Johnson agreement as well. So I'll come out with more information and details on that once it's revealed. As always, guys, be sure to subscribe if you're a Bulls fan, as I do post daily Bulls content. Thanks again for tuning in, and I will catch you guys in the next one.